Welcome back. In this video, we're going to touch on work orders. Click on the work orders icon. If you have an ERP or MRP system, or even Simtrans, your work order should be coming in from those systems. If not, you can create a new work order within Sigma Nest. We will cover how to create a work order in a different video. There are four stages of the work orders. Not started, in process, done, and overdue. If you have a work order that has been in process and is overdue, it will show up as red instead of blue in your work orders list. As you can see, I have a lot of overdue work orders and some I haven't started yet. I also have work orders that are in process. However, one has been grayed out, and this is because I put a hold on that work order. If you have a problem with a work order in your list, say the material is out of stock, you can place a hold on that work order and release it until you're ready to continue. Let's go ahead and run through a work order. I'm going to organize my list by customer and due date. Next, I'm going to pick a work order and load it. Create a new task. Create your nest. Auto NC. And post. Update Sigma Nest. Now we can go back into our work order list and let me remove these fields. You can print these work orders if you wish. You can also remove the finished work orders from this list by choosing the Archive button. Archive all the completed work orders. And that's all there is to it.